everyone! My name is Ellie Cupcakes. This is the first poster that I made for my Giorgio themed exam. Okay, okay, that wasn't really it. The real theme was time. I love how my colleagues went with some really interesting and profound themes like death, time as a cyclic event, family, rebirth and other cool stuff and my mind was like... Zawardo! <laughs> so yeah, my thought process was pretty much it. I figured one thing I always been inclined to was to make fun stuff, as my cartoony approach to drawing demonstrates, because I like to make people laugh. And that's exactly what happened when I got into my exam session. My professor, being one of the few ones knowing about my project, was beaming with pride and the moment all of them got their hands on the posters, an external examinator opened their eyes and went Is this... Jojo? And overall the mood in the room was mixed between surprise and excitement. So anyway, this is one of the pieces that took the longest. I recorded 18 and a half hours. I don't usually record the sketching phase, because that alone takes hours of searching for references and ideas. Most spend studying fictional characters that do silly poses and scream a lot. It was my first time drawing some of them, so I haven't yet grabbed on a way to make my style fit with the characters and all of the many details they come with. I hope you appreciate the attention to details, as I included even the fly that gets Dio's spot in one of the first episodes. I made sure it would be seen in the A3 poster, but it resulted noticeable in the A5 as well. It's a bit hard to judge how many details are to put on a drawing. If they are too small, they will go missed, or if they are too close to the edge of the page, cut out. I used to think my drawings were finished before they will actually be, but I discovered that, thinking about how to make the piece more interesting, a few more hours could really improve the overall value of it, that if I had stopped prior, I would have ignored completely. As general advice, even if a drawing looks done and you are ready to hop on the next one as the little cute bunny that you are, you should at least sleep once between starting the thing and actually consider it done. There is some people that can do masterpieces in an evening and cram those hours to deadlines, but they can do that because they have a decade of practice and working methods that beginners don't have and it's okay to overwork a bit the drawing at first to become more aware of what you will be ending up with. I'm a bit rambling, let's get back actually talking about this drawing. <laughs> I really like crowded pictures with many people, not only because they are beautiful to look at, most likely will include your favorite characters and look really colorful. These are something that I will actually print and hang on my wall, along with the other inspirational and cool pictures I have in my apartment. In fact, I did hang some of mine around. I'm very methodical when it comes to coloring, I often know what works and what doesn't, or takes too long to render in some cases, so you can see me proceed on every character the same way, to be sure they look coherent and good all together. This time I shaded the blonde hair of Dio with green instead of red, because I wanted to make clear in an undertone of malice and malevolence on his side, even if it's beautiful. Color theory is truly what fascinates me the most, but I've read many color theory books and I want to read even more because color is my favorite thing, even more than drawing sometimes. These videos keep getting longer and longer, but to be fair, it's quite hard to summarize almost 20 hours under 10 minutes. I hope you enjoyed the process and my ramblings. I really do enjoy making these kind of videos, it's fun and they are a good practice for when I'll be able to do art streams, hopefully soon enough. <laughs> these are all the stages it took to completion, from the rough sketch, the color palette that I ended up choosing and the final result. It was a great achievement for me and I'm glad I got into this series to begin with 
and became so inspired to make posters about it. I will talk a bit more about Jojo as an anime on the next piece. For now, thanks for sticking by and thank you for watching! See you next time!